Hello my friends and welcome to, to this video about the Counterpoint DA11-5EC transport. It's the first transport ever seen with high definition CD, HD CD. Handcrafted in California. Uh, I was asked to do the quote on it because the owner didn't like me spending four hours on uh, on the previous job and, and wanted to charge him two hundred dollars for it so he said I'm good only for under fifty per hour so I've opened it up and um, and had a look so I only spent an hour now I spent half of it on the remote control testing diode, transistor, you know capacitor, I didn't test the crystal and the chip, one of those is faulty. So, as beautiful as that remote is, might not be actually a recoverable job. Well, may, maybe that chip can be purchased. I, I didn't have time to do that. Uh, two things I did find. Somebody was at it before, and uh, there were some even repairs to cables. You can see the green sleeve there. And uh, there are some other things here. I think they... What was there replaced? Um, some switch. It must have been a switch of some sort replaced. But anyway, that's the, that's the mechanism. Um, people always worry about lasers. What about laser? Is laser available? Plenty of those lasers available. There's cheap laser there. It's like... A, I don't know, $25 one. The problem is with loaders. As you see in here, there's the first thing that is uh, broken off, and there's a second and a third, and they're just brutally hacked off. I don't know, because black on black, whether you can see that this is all broken off. It's not really filed. I, I don't really believe that this is counterpoints work that they would do a thing like that to mount, and the whole thing is loose. And this is only my speculation, that somebody had a go at it, and wanted to replace the laser, and just took the whole thing of some other CD player. And because it didn't fit, they just hacked off the standoffs and tried to fit it in there. I mean, I, I think counterpoint, you know, with the beautiful CNC work I mean this is this is an excellent piece of of kit that they, if they wanted to to get a standard loader and you know remove the standoffs oh there's more there's uh, here's my little finger there's another thing hacked off that they would find a, a nicer way of doing it you know so I believe that somebody must have been at it. So that's one pr problem. Uh, the, the, the laser is dead, so the, the, but I can replace it no problem at all, without any hassle. But then there is this transformer. That transformer hums, hums like hell. You know, like you, you turn on the player, it goes, you know, it's just awful. So either that needs to be replaced or, or I don't know, maybe I have to sort of take it off and, and, and see what's there. But to take that transformer off you have to replace, remove that board. And that board is held by a number of screws and, and, and of course one has to remove the the top board. And as you see there is a forest of standoffs here. From this side and, and, and inside there, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there must be 20 of them. Well, that's in a way good. That's in a way, there's more, you see, on this side, and then you can sort of see inside there. That's in a way good, because there isn't a single cable in there, you know, so that's fine. The less cables, the better. You can control noise and everything, so that's that's a good thing from an engineering point of view. I'm not sure if I take it out, put it back again, that all of them will align perfectly and make connection. But anyway, I... Uh, one will have to have a go at that and, and remove the whole lot 
to to get at the transformer to control the hum because the way it is when you turn it on it's just unacceptable it's unacceptable in a cheap player let alone a counterpoint that that fetches now about eight hundred dollars so well I hate I prefer to buy things outright and then fix them at my leisure and I can control my risk but I've been asked to provide a quotation well well if I say four hundred dollars I don't even know if I can if I can mount it properly and of course I replace if I replace the laser in it the laser is dead or very little light comes out of it what if electronics is faulty then I'll be working for a couple of hours for nothing to find out that I cannot do it. So then I have to return the thing to the client and tell him, sorry, I cannot fix it, I have no manual for the electronics. And I've wasted two hours of my life, you know. He's not going to pay me for trying to fix it. So, you know, there's really no point of doing repairs for others unless you want to charge, you know, $100 for inspection, you know, and who wants to pay that? I mean, I as a consumer wouldn't, so this is, this is a strange thing, but I, I think my, my way of buying faulty stuff and just, uh, I mean, but it's a great stuff, HDCD, look at this, this is CNC developed a nice metal tray, I mean, I wish that people who have very little knowledge about CD players didn't try to fix him. I mean, I mean I, I'm all for DIY and trying but once you get to a certain point and you see you cannot do it you should give up and uh, rather than make uh, more trouble because they, if I need to get a loader for this if I cannot secure it properly well that's the end of it you know it's, it's you cannot get a loader for that counterpoint probably forgot about this player so on Anyway, sorry about this, um, yet another incoherent rant, but uh, I'm so sad that such a fine unit uh, might not get fixed. Well, thank you very much, and uh, till the next one, I'll let you know if I get it going, and uh, if, uh, you know, if the owner sells it to me or decides to, to, to pay, you know, some money for it, I don't know. Okay, bye-bye.